The Great Barrier Reef in Australia, one of the world's greatest natural wonders, is dying. In fact, it has experienced its worst die-off ever, according to scientists who've surveyed the reef. Well, we've seen now three bleaching events on the Great Barrier Reef. The first one was in 1998, the second in 2002, and the third one this most recent summer in 2016. This one is by far the most extreme. And we've seen three of these events now with just one degree of global warming. So two degrees of global warming, which is the international target, is, is going to be a very challenging place for the Great Barrier Reef. Over map detailing coral loss on the Great Barrier Reef, it shows the mortality vibrations of the coral. Warm seas around Australia's Great Barrier Reef have killed two-thirds of the 700-kilometer stretch of coral over the past nine months. That's according to scientists. They've also surveyed sites on the northern Great Barrier Reef in March and April, and again at the same site in October and November. They discovered an average loss of 67 percent of shallow water corals in those areas. Good news we found from our new map is that there's very low levels of loss of corals in the central and southern section of the Great Barrier Reef. The bad news comes from the north, north of Port Douglas all the way up to Papua New Guinea, where about two-thirds of the corals have died in the last seven months. We'll now see recolonization of those reefs. That's a very slow process. We think it'll take 10 to 15 years for a decent amount of corals to occur in those reefs again. Researchers say the die-off is almost certainly the largest ever recorded anywhere because of the size of the barrier reef, which at 3,48,000 square kilometers is the biggest coral reef in the world. Australia says it is stepping up efforts to protect the reef and its world heritage status. Your report, we on.